Hey everyone, Andrew from Snakeworks. Uh, to make a short video showing off my Carl Albano Boa. Uh, this is one of the first snakes I ever got. He is probably like a 2013 maybe. I don't know well you can see him, but uh, he still has some pinks. He turned really pink after he turned yellow and then some of the coraling went away. I pretty much overfed this animal because I was under the impression that you could just feed these things nonstop. It would be fine. I mean, it's an amateur mistake. I know better now. I was able to get him slightly slimmed down. Uh, he looks decent, but he still has some loose skin. I mean, that's a lesson learned that you want to be sure how to take care of these snakes so you don't end up <laughs> just with an overweight animal. Uh, you can see he's pretty friendly. He's very food aggressive, but besides for that, he doesn't strike or do anything. Uh, hold on a second. He's a bit of a handful. Right now I have him in a six by two and he's about seven feet long. Got him from JPC Boas. I've never bred this animal. And, uh, I mean, obviously by his size too, like if I was smarter, I would have kept him smaller because he's a male. No reason for him to be this size. Quite frankly, he might be larger than some females that I might choose to pair him with. Uh, I have in the past thought about getting rid of him just because I don't really have space for multiple six by two cages in this room. I also didn't have any plans for breeding him, but it's one of those things you get attached to animals and I probably will just have this for the rest of my life. See, he is really docile. I'm sorry, he'll probably bite me on camera for the first time. But these are cool animals. Well, they clearly get very large. Right now I feed them large rats, maybe every four to six weeks. Some of the large rats I've been getting aren't exactly large. I mean, everyone knows what's going on with time being tough right now, so even feeders seem to be a little bit smaller than they normally would be. I don't know what he's trying to get to over there. There's nothing in this room right now. Uh, you can see as I'm holding him, I mean, I'm a somewhat strong person, but this is still a somewhat difficult animal to just maintain. When you're handling an animal the size, you want to just keep him away from your neck. Let him go everywhere else, but around here. Uh, he's squeezing me pretty hard. I don't think I could get him off of me if I really needed to. If he really thought that I was food, I'd probably be in trouble. So luckily he's just a docile animal though. Let's get closer to that camera for you. I think you might be able to see some of those pinks there. The you know, tail was all red at one point, then it kind of turned purple. Now it's more white. But he's got some good muscle on him now. All that striation, that's what I want to see. Oh, he's kind of heavy. Well, if you have any questions about him, please just put them in the comments. Uh, I'm getting more into boas. As the years pass, I know some of you have also seen my IMG. So maybe there's a future for this guy in an IMG project in the future. But uh, thank you for watching and please subscribe.